Uh, yo, what up everybody? Uh, we're going to be solving this problem here where we know the hypotenuse of a right triangle and we know one of the angles. And we're going to use the uh, sine, cosine, tangent to find the other sides and also we're going to find the other angle. So we're going to solve for everything in five minutes or less. So hold on, here we go. All right, so first of all, let's see what we have. All right, and let's compare it to our little generic triangle over here. And so we have our angle, uh, which is the theta over here, which is 21 degrees. And we have the hypotenuse, which is 40, and that corresponds to the C. And so here we have our three trigonomic identities. And uh, let's choose one of the sides to start with. Uh, let's choose the opposite side, which is the A over here. So we have C, we're looking for A. So we're going to choose the one uh, that has A and C. And that, of course, is going to be sine. All right, we're going to put 21 degrees in for the theta. And we're going to put uh, 40 in for C. And we're going to solve for A, which is our missing side. So there it is. Now, we want to solve for A, so we need to get rid of this 40 on the bottom. So we multiply both sides by 40. The 40s cancel out. And we get A is equal to sine 21 uh, times 40, right? I like to put parentheses around the sign just to make sure you don't multiply the 21 and 40, which would give you the completely uh, wrong answer. All right, so you put that in a calculator. And again, the goal with this is to get to something that you can put in a calculator. And uh, if you need help putting that in a calculator, uh, click on the card above and we have a video about how to do that. We get 14.33, which is the missing side. And then uh, we need to find the other missing side, which is the adjacent side. And that corresponds to B in this triangle. So we, we have C, we wanna find B. So let's look at one that has both B and C in it. That'd be cosine. We're gonna put 21, in, 21 degrees in for cosine. Uh, we'll put, uh, we, we, we don't know B, we know that C is gonna be 40. All right, and so we're going to solve this the same way, multiply by 40, so we can get B on a side by itself, the 40s cancel out. And then you got cosine of 21, multiplied by 40, that's something you can put in the calculator. And when you do, you should get 37.34. And there we go, so we have all the sides now, uh, we're going to find the missing angle. The fastest way to do this is just to recognize that all three angles in a triangle need to add to 180, right? So we have a 21, we have a 90, because we have a right angle. Right angles are always 90 degrees. And then we have an unknown angle. We're gonna add the 21 and 90 together uh, and then subtract minus 111 from both sides, right? And that gives us 180 minus 11, which is 69. All right, and so the missing angle is 69 degrees. All right, so that's how we solve that problem. Um, feel free to click on another example if uh, you want to learn more.